Hello, Brian from Phantom Elite Paranormal. Um, I'm doing an experiment today, not tonight. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually build a second Faraday cage. Uh, something that will black out frequencies from the SB7 uh, specifically. Um, you could probably do this to any ghost box. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to encase this box here in wiring. Uh, really small wiring, so uh, it's complete. Uh, makes a complete circuit, and I'm um, just gonna uh, interline it with aluminum tape. And I'm just gonna put this in inside this box. It's gonna have an external speaker from the outside. We turn it on. No frequencies should be coming out. Easy, simple. Second part of my video will be actually at a, a location and I'm going to test out this theory uh, if they you know if the frequencies are gone out of this and we start getting responses somewhere you know it's just it'll be amazing from that point on but what I'm going to do is actually analyze the audio I'm going to try to do it real time I if I can't, I can just take the audio sample from this camera and load it into the computer and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. That is a, um, we should be able to see the frequency gaps between channels, each single one of them. So I'm going to analyze that. Um, I mean, I, I, I've seen it done before, so I'm actually going to try to um, show you what I'm talking about um, when when we set a ghost box uh, specifically because I like the SB7 is because you can set the frequencies speed like other ones like the hacks and that they don't they don't have the accuracy that I need um, to analyze the audio and the audio uh, when I set it at a hundred millisecond when I say you know a lot of our videos I say like a hundred millisecond and reverse or forward what I'm going to actually really doing is I'm taking the audio that I hear from the um, the investigation itself and you know, analyze the gaps. And sometimes those spirits actually talk in between the gaps. And <laughs> the radio doesn't do that, all right? Um, not alone when I'm at a location and they're swearing full sentences of my name. Um, you know, radio doesn't do that. Um, I just, I'm a big believer on the ghost box, so I hope this helps. I'm going to try my best to, to sh I like to get every ghost hunter to actually start using a Freddy cage or some kind of small pouch or something for their SB7. Um, I pick and preferably the SB7 because it is the easiest and is more on a scientific basis. All right. All right, it is completed. Uh, here's the finished product. It is fully caged. Um, I have a little opening for the ghost box to slip in there. And I made a double layered Freddy cage. Um, there's, you know, the outside, the outside uh, blockers. And then I did inside blockers as well so it's a multiple Freddy cage to block more freak more of the radio frequencies out um, just in case just in case um, all right uh, we'll just turn on here. Alright, um, oh, a little 
wire still not hanging out. Cut myself. Anyway, this will be on the field for sure. Uh, the other one was just too big, so. Should work, and let's see. I don't think um, I'm going to go to the location tonight, um, but I will do another video on the frequency, the gaps, um, analyzing the gaps in, in, in between. Cool. Let's do this. I also made a uh, for an A cage mini pouch. Yeah, it works pretty good. Um, I'd say it cuts out about 90% uh, frequencies. So, well, if uh, this one doesn't work, which it should, and it will, I have this one too. So. Alrighty. Pretty cool, huh? Can still use the buttons. Spirit in here. Spirit in here. What? What's your name? You want to talk? Goodbye then. And there we have it. A miniature birdie cage. Uh, and the travel birdie cage. <laughs> Just to show you the gaps in the little video clip of what you just heard before me talking, I'll just show you. This over here, so it's out of my way. Alright, what you're seeing right here, like these are the gaps. 100 millisecond. And I was talking about spirits talking in between these. So I'll play it real quick. Spirit in here. What? what? Spirit, in Spirit in here. What? Spirit in, Spirit in here? Let's go to the part where... Move. You can see right here that the gap was messed with right there. Zoom in. Between these other gaps, something was talking in between there. So with the 4 cage, 
and the analyzation, I could tell that, yes, that was a spirit. You can see right here yes, that was a spirit talking. Yes, that was a spirit talking. Yes, that was a spirit.